All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Adams Brothers podcast, the hottest podcast in Florida. And it is definitely not bragging when it's true. Welcome to the Adams Brothers podcast. We just got off of a live stream podcast with attorney Richard Riles. He is running for Palm Beach County uh, Commission, the commissioner in District 7 up in Palm Beach County. And that brother spoke so eloquently um, on the podcast. If you just missed it, please go back and watch uh, the playback. And we want to uh, wish uh, attorney Richard Riles the best of luck. Uh with a brother like that, with the education and the background that he have, I don't see why he should have a problem getting elected up there in uh in Palm Beach County, man. Uh, yes, cause he's he actually told the audience that he he worked on a case in Rosewood, Florida. Yeah, that's uh, true. As that's true. as for a pl- for one of his clients uh, to get reparations for the Rosewood massacre that happened in January of nineteen twenty three. Yep. So he was an attorney on one of the cases yes. for, for one of his clients. And we all know what happened up in Rosewood, uh, Florida, uh, way back in 1923. 23. Yes. Yeah, how they January killed, 19, killed black people and burned down the houses and everything and raped our black women and killed the black men. You know, that's um, Florida has a history, uh, not only in Rosewood, but Okoe, Florida as well. Yes. So uh, uh, some people don't believe that black people deserve reparations. You gave it to the Indians. You gave it to the Jewish people. Um, and what black people are basically saying, yeah, we, we, we think we deserve it as well. But that remains to be seen. Welcome back to the Adams Brothers podcast. So we um, Again, we just had attorney Richard Riles on here, man, and he spoke so well man and uh he, the brother's up on his black history as well so um uh again good luck to you attorney richard riles um uh, we want to definitely get you back on this podcast oh, definitely we have to get him back on yeah he was brother. a little pressed for time tonight and uh he didn't have a chance to uh stay as long as we uh would like for him to have, to have stayed but uh, uh we appreciate the time that he did give us because uh he dropped a lot of knowledge on us uh, on a, for that short time that he and was he here. wasn't afraid to call out some of our politicians in the black community. He right. he he laid them out perfectly. I mean, I know he would be on the outside looking in. Uh, those political pimps definitely would not. They wouldn't like him. Like him. They wouldn't like him. And I saw him at Black Lux. Um, uh, was it last week? Week before last? And uh, he was out there. And he got up on that stage and he spoke um, so um, uh, so so uh, uh, articulate, articulate, man. I tell you, man, he was he impressed me, man. Just listening to this guy talk, man. Um, you know, it's he was very impressive, man. Are you guys up there in Palm Beach County? You got to elect this man uh, to the Palm Beach County Commission because he's gonna go up there and fight for you all. So. Uh, uh, Attorney Richard Riles, good luck to you, sir. And back down here to Broward County, um, the Breakway Center for Active Aging is now open. And uh, it's open for business. And we had a few messages uh, in our inbox that was asking for us to find out when they were going to have a grand opening. And I did find out that the grand opening, according to someone uh, over at Break, uh, Breakway, uh, that the grand opening was going to be sometime in April. But they didn't give me a date in April. So we just have to stay tuned to uh, the Adams Brothers podcast. And when we find out, we'll post it on our page and we will let you know here as well. And you have to sign up uh, to be a part of the uh, 
grand opening. Uh, I was told uh, this was uh, one of the staff members over there at Breakway. So um, uh, just stay tuned. We'll get, we're going to get some more information for you, and we'll definitely pass it on uh, uh, to you all uh, as soon as we find out. Uh, so, and he spoke about education, uh, uh, Attorney Riles. He talked about that you know putting more money towards education, and, and right now they're planning on closing down a lot of schools around here in Broward County, right here in Broward County. Uh, underperforming, underperforming schools. Uh, we we heard word that it might be one here in Deerfield. Maybe a few. Now. Uh, could be a few. Could be a few. And I want to start calling out no. names and stuff, but uh, uh, they in the hood. Okay, so uh, uh, you 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 go figure. So uh, stay woke. Just just yeah, stay woke. And uh, they want to close down these schools and maybe bus our kids to school somewhere else in other cities uh, across town or somewhere um uh they're not they're they're underperforming uh their um grade is like a d d minus d plus or something like that so they want to close these schools down and that's why you have to have an uh, a good uh representative for your district uh, down at the county, like Richard Riles is up there and will be up there in Palm Beach County. And we have to have that here in uh, Broward County. Because if they talk about closing down some of these schools that we heard, it's going to be all, all hell is going to break loose. I can tell you that. So uh, keep watching the news. And if you have to go down to the county commission meetings, I think they have their meetings up in the daytime. You know why a lot of people are at work. But if you have to get off from work early and go down there and you can watch the playback too, right? You always watch the playback. There's no excuse not right. to right. watch, watch it. Even if you can't be there in person, you can always watch it. It's, I think it's, it's live. So you can always right. watch. Right. Also, uh, since you're talking about education here, uh, are, were you, were you done? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. While you're go talking ahead. about I'm education, drink. I was reading a a article about Florida. It was all in the news for the last few days about uh, Florida Republicans keep trying to argue that slavery wasn't so bad. And it was a Florida state representative, Alex Andre, said during a discussion of an anti CRT bill that some slaves were paid. These Republicans keep trying to make it seem like that slavery wasn't so bad and the slaves, uh, the enslaved people were joyful and just joyous of their situation. Also, the article goes on to say a controversial education bill passed in a Florida House vote last Friday. And it says one Republican lawmaker used the opportunity to wonder why educators don't talk about how some slaves were paid for their labor. The bill known as CS. HB 1291 would ban teacher preparation programs and similar courses that teach identity politics or are based on theories that systematic racism, sexism, oppression, and privileges are inherent in the institutions of the United States. And we have someone uh, that's actually arguing the bill, Alexei, Alex, Alex Andre, he's not even from here. His his people are, you know, they immigrated here. So he's here trying to tell people about black people about, you know, teaching the kids in the educational program about that slaves were happy. Enslaved people were happy while they were working in the hot sun and not getting paid any wages at, at all. So, again, you have to be you have to watch what's going on, not just here in the uh, Broward County area, Palm Beach, Dade County, you have to watch what's going on at the state level in uh, relations to education uh, and what the lawmakers are doing. I mean, these Florida lawmakers are passing all kind of uh, bills up there and most people not even watching and most people not gonna know until July 1st. And that's when usually a lot of the bills become law july 1st and october 1st so just people just stay woke 
also i wanted to uh uh announcement uh the deerfield beach women's history hall of fame inductee breakfast and it says here the city of deerfield beach park and recreation department would like to invite you to join us for the sixth annual city of deerfield beach women's history history hall of fame inductee breakfast on saturday march 30th 2024 at 9 a.m to 11 a.m at the double tree by the hilton uh, and that's going to be at 100 Fairway Drive, Deerfield Beach, Florida, 33441. And it says here, at, as a part of the event, the city will be celebrating influential women of Deerfield Beach who have served as role models, demonstrated a commitment to the city, and invested time, talent, and resources to make a difference. This year, inductees include Carolyn McManet, Mac Manera, Annette Mitchell, former mayor Peggy Nolan, Janice Fulmore Tigner, and the late Amy K. Tanner Novak. So uh, just remember that that is going to be on March 30th, 2024, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And it says that uh, the guest speaker for that day would be former Deerfield Beach City Commissioner and Florida House of Representative Gwendolyn A. Clark Reed is the special guest uh, and keynote speaker. And it says, come out for a delicious breakfast buffet and entertainment as we honor these most deserving individuals. Tickets are $20 per person and may be purchased at the Deerfield Beach Teen Center that's 1345 Southwest 11th Way, Deerfield Beach, Florida, 33441. And the teen center, as you know, is over by the new fire station over near Praxis and uh, near Cracker Barrel. So uh, they're honoring some 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 great people this year that has uh, that have given their time, talent, well and resources. And it's well-deserved. Again, it's Carolyn McMan McManera, Annette Mitchell, former... Deerfield Beach Mayor Peggy Nolan, Janice Fulmore Tigner, and the late Amy K. Tanner Novak. So uh, some great inductors going in this year for Women's History Month. Yeah, and, and they 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 do they deserve it as they well. They deserve it. Yes. So uh, uh congratulations, congratulations to those ladies. Congratulations to uh, all those ladies. Very well deserved. I can tell you that much. Yes. And again, the Adams brothers. Wayne and Daryl Adams, uh, we're going to be recipients uh, to receive the 59th annual annual Spring Tea Award for Outstanding Community Service. Uh, this event will be uh, Sunday, March 17, 2024, at 11 a.m. during the morning service at First Zion Missionary uh, Baptist Church. So uh, we'll be getting another award, and we want to thank Pastor Theodis Times over at uh, First Zion Missionary Baptist Church. I want to thank uh, Joe Nice Richardson Vernon uh, for reaching out to us, Mr. Berth Bertha Gibson, and all of the uh, um, members over there at First Zion Missionary Baptist Church. Thank you so much for uh, even thinking about us um, to even nominate us for an award and give us an award. It warms our hearts, you know, to know that what we do uh, for this community does it doesn't go unnoticed. Yes. Um, we uh, we work hard. We put in a lot of time behind these microphones and on the phones. A lot of a lot of things that you all don't even see. Uh, you just see us behind these microphones, but we're on, we're constantly on the phone all day talking to different people from Dave Broward, Palm Beach County. All over the state of Florida, all over this country, we reached out to so many people that we were, we we're trying to get on this uh, uh, podcast. And sometimes it's a little difficult to get people on because of their schedules. And we we understand that. Yes. But uh, we that won't stop us from reaching out. But we put in a lot of work uh, for you all. And we want to make sure that we get out, put out some uh, uh, information that you all can rely on. And uh 
Um, Facts are very important on yes. this podcast. We pride ourselves on on putting putting out good information for you all. Um, as you can see, this uh this little container here, um, this is a thermos, the little uh, water bottle. It was made by our girl Giselle Creations. Uh, you can uh, go and check her out on uh, on the web uh, on the G Giselle Creation J A Z A L E Creations dot com, yeah. and she can make you these nice little little um, water containers. Uh, it has said it says Adams Brothers Podcast got a nice little chain on here. You can drink out of it. Yeah. So thank you, uh, Giselle Creations, for that uh, gift, man. We really appreciate you. Um, and also, uh, one of the unsolved murders that we had on this podcast, um, we had a guest on here. I don't want to say which one, but we had one on her, and there's some movement um, on one of those cases. And hopefully, 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 there will be an arrest uh, pretty soon. Yeah, I hope um, so. I we don't want to so. let we don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but um, because we um, had had those guests on this podcast, they started getting tips. The the PD started getting tips, and the detectives started getting tips, uh, credible tips that they could follow up on, and from our understanding that there may be some movement on one of those uh, cases. So hopefully um, the person that uh, committed these, this, 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 this murder, all of these murders that they're brought to justice and they go do some hard time and they don't ever get out of prison. Yeah. And if you get the electric chair, that's not on me. Yeah, that's not on, uh, on us. Uh, you committed the crime, so whatever punishment the Lord says that you deserve, that's what you'll get. So um, we love hearing that good news about uh, oh, yeah. some possible movement on uh, on our unsolved murders um, that we do on our podcast, and we got we have more coming up. But like I say, some of these people are reluctant to come on and talk, or you know, fear of retaliation. Or whatever you know, so we we keep reaching out to them uh, to try to try to help them uh, solve these murders. Uh, you have to talk about it. Yeah, it's not gonna get solved by itself. It's just if you just sweep it up under the rug, that's where it's gonna stay. These people get killed every day, and these new cases, they just put them on a shelf. And if the families don't, uh, you know, put pressure on these detectives and the PD to um reopen these cases and they'll get around to it when they can so um yeah continue to watch our true crime podcast i mean we we didn't we didn't go anywhere with them we were just we're waiting on uh some police agencies right now that are putting things together so right. we, we, we you know we're gonna only wait a little bit longer and uh we're going to continue on, but uh, we have a lot of great guests coming on with True Podcasts who are not afraid to speak, speak up, up. Uh, for their loved ones that were murdered. So uh, that's what I'm most proud of, our, right. our, not just our community work, but our True Crime Podcast and bringing these cases to light. Uh, and getting those cases the attention that is needed. I mean, it's nothing worse for me than seeing a parent or cry, cry on Man. TV. I, one of my most memorable uh, events I saw, I remember when the young man, uh, the people were killed in Miami at the banquet hall, and the father, the they were doing the press conference, I believe the next day or the next day or two. And the father walked up uh, and interrupted the uh, Miami Dade uh, police. Uh, and they tackled him too. Well, they didn't tackle him. They just pushed him away. 
and led him in the back. And he well, was he was hurt though. He was yeah, really hurt. Oh, you could see the hurt. Yeah, he yeah. was very hurt about you know saying, you know, people supposed to have protected him. And that yeah. was one of the one of the cases that stick out in my mind. How where he just walked up there and he pointed at the camera. He said, "You murdered my son," and he was very hurt. And and that stays in my mind. I actually put that video up a few times and they, they, they ended up catching a few of the assailants and somehow or another, the detectives that wrote the warrant up or wrote the subpoena or whatever, I'm not for sure. They left some things out or they didn't read them their rights. And these guys right now ended up walking free. They're, they're actually the police know these guys were the killers, but they're actually walking free right now because of a uh, because of a technicality that was uh, made by the detectives. So hopefully those families can get some justice at uh, some point. Of, as I say, again, y'all might remember this was the case where y'all remember the truck pulled up and about three assailants got out. And the people were standing in front of the banquet hall and all you seen was bullets spraying, mowing people down. And that was the case right there. So that was right. one of the cases. And it, it just hurts my heart to see mothers and grandmothers have to come up and cry about some of their loved ones that were murdered. So right. we hope to have some of those people. We have reached out to a, a lot of them and we hope in the future to have them. Some of them have agreed. It's just a matter of timing of getting them uh, to come on. And then, like right. I say, if anyone else out there that's viewing this, know someone uh, that has a loved one that's been murdered and would like to come on and talk about it and shed light on it. We, our email is uh, Adams Brothers Pod, P O D, P O D, Adams, A D A M S, Brothers, B R O T H E R S, Pod, P O D, at gmail.com. Email us and we're going right. to check it out. We always pull the records first before we right. uh, do anything. So no one's not just going to come on here and make up anything. So, uh, Govern yourself accordingly if you do uh, want to come on and uh, talk about a case of one of your loved ones or a family member that was a victim of uh, violence. So the invitation is always open here because we want to get to the bottom of these cases. Yeah, you can send us the if you got if you have a tip. If you don't want to send it in the Crime Stoppers, if you don't believe that it's you know that it's it's anonymous. Um, send it to us. We'll forward that information over to the, the, that, that PD, you know, and we'll make sure that they get it because we're here to try and help any family that's, that's, you know, that has been, has a, you know, a loved one that's been killed. We're trying to help them. That's what we're trying to do. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to help families get justice and closure. That's our, that's our goal here. So um, reach out to us. If you, you got some information on a cold case murder, reach out to us. Or call 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 the uh, tip line. Call someone that just don't sit on that information. Uh, it's important that these families uh, get the justice uh, that they deserve. So um, moving on, it's JITG weekend. Jazz in the Garden in Miami, Florida, down at the Miami Dolphins Stadium. Jazz in the Garden. Uh, it's a big event, big yearly event. Normally, I would go. I don't feel like being around big crowds uh, this year. Uh, right now, I don't. I don't. But they got Jazz in the Garden going on. Uh, uh, it's going to be a good one. Um, and I know Fantasia is going to be there. I believe Charlie Wilson. I think Jasmine Sullivan. I think Charlie Wilson is going to be there. Man, maybe I'm right, wrong about that one, but I know Jazz. Ja I think Jasmine Sullivan. Um, I don't have the list here in front of me, but I know it's JITG weekend. And uh, for those of you that's going down to Jazz in the Garden, I hope you have a good time and enjoy yourselves. 
and uh, don't drink too much. If you've been drinking, uh, you know, give the keys to somebody else. Take a designated driver with you. Don't try and come back all tore up like we used to do when we were young. You know, we all did that. So don't try to play like you didn't do it. We all have done it sometimes in our lives, had a drink and got behind the wheel. We just got lucky we didn't get caught. Okay. So don't do it. Uh, uh, use your common sense and take a um, take a designated driver. Um, and also with you. And also uh, next month, April 13th, the great Patty LaBelle will be at the Pompano. Pompano Beach Amphitheater. And Charlie Wilson. And Charlie Wilson. Mm-hmm. And on. They're both coming to Pompano. Okay. And on April 30th, the great Kenny G will be live at the Fort Lauderdale uh, uh, Convention Center. The great Kenny G, who he puts on a awesome uh, show. You would you got to catch Kenny G, the sax man. You yeah. got to catch him. He's an awesome performer. And that's April 30th in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. So it's a, it, we have a lot of entertainment coming. Cat Williams coming to Sunrise. I mean, uh, Monique, right? I, Monique, Monique is Mo, on tour Monique with him. Monique is on the tour. Yeah, and uh, someone else, ex-wife, Kevin Hart, ex-wife, I believe she's on tour with right, them too. Right. Yeah, they're all coming to the Sunrise, the Panther, uh, Florida Panthers Arena out there in Sunrise. So, uh, well, that's Cat Williams. So, uh, you know, he recently broke the internet on Club the Shay Shay. Monique did too. I think Monique she, did too. I think she even beat him out. No, you know? she didn't beat. Uh, she didn't Kat. beat. No, she didn't beat Cat. Oh, no. okay, because Cat broke the internet. Yeah. Over you know, 57 million clubs. Views big shout out to Club, Club Shay, Shay Shay and uh who's doing great things. And yeah, big shout out to uh Shannon Shark, Club Shay Shay over there. We want to be the next Club Shay Shay. We will be the next Club Shay Shay. And we I don't know why people Breakfast hating Club. on 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 Shannon Sharp trying because to of that outfit anymore. the man gay. Shannon Sharp is not gay. Anyone know. Uh, Shannon Sharp is not gay. That man had two hip well, replacements. They just showed a picture of him getting out of a truck last weekend. And the man right. just had two hip replacements. Right. So, but that's just hate and jealousy. Again, and, when you start and, making and, money, that's what we do. That you know, that's what black people do. They start hating on you. And instead of congratulating the man, they want to start putting out memes and all of this and that about the man getting out the car with a tight. You don't have Shannon Shaw's money. Shannon Shaw can go buy anything he wants. You know, he played in the NFL, three Super, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, three. Super Bowl rings. You know, been all on. You know, sports commentator. You Hall know, Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer, and now he has a successful podcast that he's he's just tearing up the internet. Yeah, YouTube, TikTok. I mean, everything. So he's making. Money and kudos out, kudos out to kudos, to kudos you, out to 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 Shannon Sharp Club Shay Shay. He also yeah. has a a uh, podcast at night. He does the it night on cap. Sunday. Yeah. Nightcap is called Nightcap. He does it Sunday and Monday with Chad Ocho Cinco. He does it tonight at around ten or eleven o'clock with Gil Arenas, and they talk about basketball. Uh, and Chad Ocho Cinco will be on uh, tomorrow night again, month, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday with Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. And Shannon Chomp is just doing great things out yeah, there. And people yeah. need to really just embrace Shout out him. to them brothers. They're they doing some good things. And if people are not talking about you, you're not, you're not doing, doing, doing something right. You yeah, know? you didn't hear anything about Shannon Sharp until he Start, broke the internet. And yeah. most of the hate came from people who look yeah. Just like him, which is nothing. It's new. always black. People. We we all come from that, so it's nothing. New. Right. It's always us, our people. You know, you gotta call them out. When you see this type of stuff going on, call them out. So this is just a pop-up podcast. We we just got off of a live stream podcast with attorney Richard Riles. Um, he came on a uh, good luck to that brother up there in Palm Beach County. We just on here. We just chopping it up. We just talking about whatever and, you know, whatever came up. You know, we want to acknowledge some of our people that's in the chat. Miss Wilson, thank you for joining us. Angela Divinity. 
And uh, uh, we don't have that many. Well, too many people haven't commented yet, um, but we got more people watching. But thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we wanted to jump on here while we have the equipment up and, you know, just uh, chop it up with you all a little bit. Give out some community news. Give out a little bit of community news and uh, uh, and and. That's about it, man. We just here. We were just chopping it up a little bit. Um, it's been a long day, so uh, we we both work, so we're here trying to get you out, you guys out some some news that you can depend on. But, if y'all got any news, put it in the chat. Anything yeah. going on? I mean, any your business? If you have a business, put it in the chat. I yeah. mean, that's what we shout here your for. business out. Shout Sh your business put out. Put it in the chat. Put it. Put if you shout if you out. have a business. Giselle, I see you on there. If you're doing, uh, you know, uh, um, signings or whatever you do, um, hey, notarizing, put it, put it in the chat. We'll shout you out, you know, because that's what we do over here at the Adams Brothers Podcast. Um, We're here we, for the people. Yeah. Not just here in Deerfield. We're here for everyone across the country, right. across the Absolutely. state, wherever you're viewing right. this at, we're here for you. If right. you got unsolved murders or, right. or anything, you want to shout your business out right. or, or put your business and, and, and let us, we will, we will, we will uh, we'll showcase you your out. business. We'll showcase your business too. Right. If you, if you want to, like I say, we're here for the, we're here for everyone. We're right. here for the empowerment right. of, black of, of black people right. and everyone. So. Rochelle, Rochelle Marshall. Hello, Rochelle. How are you? Hello, Rochelle. Uh, good to see you here joining us here on the Adams Brothers Podcast. Um, I know you're probably going down to JITG this weekend. Uh, Rochelle is a longtime friend of ours. Uh, we go way back. So I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to make it down to JITG this weekend. I think I, I'm going to chill out this weekend. I drank a little bit of Moscato. And just just enjoy the weekend. I, I had a, had a, lot, a busy weekend last weekend, so uh, yeah, it was busy. I went up to Orlando and uh, did some things, helped out some family, you know, and uh, you know, uh, just had a good time. Just had a good time. Anything oh, going we on got at the, our um, church? Huh? Anything no, we, going on at our church? The recently? brother that opened up the new Miami Grill up in Orlando. Uh, he just opened up the new Miami Grill. Uh, I, I left the address, um, but we're going to have him on the podcast. It's the only Miami Grill that's in Orlando, Florida right now. Um, uh, he had his grand opening on Saturday, and I went by there. And if you know, if you've ever been to Miami Grill, you know that, you know, they have some people, some of them serve alcohol, but this one here had a full bar. I'm going to post the, uh, the, uh, the video and I actually posted it on my Instagram page. I went live on IG and I normally don't even go over to IG that much because I'm always on Facebook, but I went live and I, I met met a met a friend of ours uh, up there. She moved up there, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny May uh, Smith, Lucas. You know Johnny. Mm -hmm. Well, I I ran into her, and Johnny was there, so we kind of sat down, we caught up a little bit. But this brother owns a Miami Grill, um, and we're gonna get him on the podcast uh, next week. We have him, and uh, we have a couple of more people that we've been playing phone tag with. Um, Got all week, all week that we've been playing, po you know, ta phone tag with, we're going to get them here on the podcast and we're going to, uh, um, a 50, 5320 North orange blossom trail. Thank you, Ms. Wilson for, uh, putting that in the chat. Um, 5320, 5320 North, orange North, blossom trail. North OBT, which is orange Bo blossom trail in Orlando, orange blossom trail in Orlando is 441. 441 here in South Florida, State Road 7. It goes all the way up to Orlando. And when it gets up to Orlando, it turns into Orange Blossom Trail. So I don't know if you ever knew that, but that is very, very true. Look it up. Um, so it's really uh 5320 North Orange Blossom Trail. And that brother, yeah, I mean, he had a bounce house, man, and that place was full to capacity. 
and I, I believe I still have the video. I'm going to, I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it up on the page and uh, we're going to get him on this podcast next week. He's already agreed to come on here. So uh, kudos to you, my brother. He has an African name too. Kind of like pair of wings down in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like pair of wings in Fort Lauderdale. Rochelle Marshall, you both are awesome. Keep doing the great work. The great job. We need you. We need you guys. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank we you, appreciate Rochelle. That. Appreciate we that. Appreciate that. So uh I don't know. That's about it. Uh yeah. also uh whatever else you have to tell them. Yeah, also while I sip on this Moscato. Also, uh prayers up for reporter Elgin Jones. Uh everybody know Elgin. Elgin had a stroke some years ago, and yeah, he hasn't been doing too good as of lately. Uh, he had a few setbacks, but prayers up for Elgin Jones. Uh, Elgin has always been there for our family. Uh, when our sister was murdered, when he our broke sister the story. was murdered, and when we were at the city of Deerfield, he 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 right. profiled a lot of uh, things that were going on out to the city at the time, as far as uh, working conditions, employment conditions, and he was demonized. I mean, he was demonized for bringing light to a lot of these politicians that attorney uh, Riles uh, spoke of earlier and Elgin exposed a lot of these politicians and uh, a lot of their intentions. And he was vilified for that. I don't know why, you know, I mean, if you have people here that's not doing anything for us, they need to be exposed. But again, prayers up for El Elgin Jones. Like I say, he's been under the weather lately and, uh, we all know he 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 came into a good fortune here a few years about four years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, three, it was, about yeah, three yes, years ago. Yes. Yeah. And it came right on time too. It came it, right on time. He was for able him. to purchase him a home, a brand new home, uh, well, a new home for him. Yes. Um, but and, uh, but I talked to Elgin. I haven't talked to him now in about two weeks now. It's been about two weeks, but I talked to him. I I try to call him a lot. Uh, I heard his phone had been down. I'm not for sure, but I, I check in on that brother all the time. Uh, Elgin is a good person. And uh, like I say, again, prayers up for Elgin Jones. Yeah. Uh, like I say, he's been under the weather lately. Still trying to recover from that stroke that he had, that massive stroke that he had uh, s some years ago. And also, Clyde, uh, Mr. Cleasy McGreen. Uh, you know, Clyde, if you ever been to the American Legion Hall, Post 287 in Deerfield Beach, uh, Clyde um, is a young man that always, for the last 10 or 15 years, um, come to our line dance classes, man. Clyde knows all of the dances. Uh, Clyde is the same age as my son. I'm 33 or 34. And uh, last name Green, correct? Green. Green, green, yeah. Clyde Mc, Mc Green. I, green. I think it's McGreen. It's Green. But, Melissa. Uh, Melissa is his aunt. Right, right. Melissa. And Clyde used to come to all of the line dance classes, and um, he knows all of the dances. He used to hang there with us, Miss Taffy, and all of the, the line dance class there for years. Very respectable young man, but he uh, had a tumor in his head, and he had a couple of uh, operations on his head. And uh, he's been a little bit under the weather for the last few years. I'm um, not few years, but I'm saying few months. I should should, should say he's been in the hospital, correct? He's been in the hospital for how yeah, many so, months now? Um, he's been there for some months now. Yeah, prayers up for Clyde. So he's a prayers good young up for man. Clyde. You know, hopefully Clyde uh, Green. everything continues to uh, trend up for you, uh, man. We love you, Clyde. Man, um, hope everything works out for you. And uh, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna go down to see Clyde uh, between now and this weekend. So, big prayers up for Clyde, uh, Mr. Cleasy uh, Green. So, uh, love you, love. I call him my little nephew there. So, love you, Clyde. And also, y'all check out the American Legion post. They are back open on Friday nights for a few yes. hours. Uh, hopefully, I mean we we're shouting them out. So hopefully they can support us, but. They're, they're open. Uh, they have like a happy hour from like about 7 to 11. 
that's something the, like that. Something yeah. like that they're open to. Yeah. But just wanted to uh say that that they're back. Yeah. They're back open just on Friday night. So so, so support the American Legion right. post 287. Right. So that's about it, man. We just wanted to jump on here for our pop-up podcast. Uh again, we just got off with attorney Richard Riles. Um good luck to that brother. Good luck He's to him. Well I would spoken. vote for him. If I lived up there in Palm, Palm Beach, Beach County, County, I would vote he for would him. have my vote. I don't know what part, what District 7 uh, covers. Maybe Del, I don't know if it's Delray and Boynton. And I don't know what that covers. But whatever District 7 covers, if you up in Delray and Boynton and West Palm Beach, and uh, I think he said he was the Palm West Palm Beach commissioner as well, right? He was a, he was one So time maybe he's West closer Beach to that area. But whatever part of Palm Beach County he's in, man, support that brother. Um, um, yep, definitely support. He him. has some good ideas and, um, good luck to you, my brother. And I also see that Miss Kit, Miss Sharon Kit is, uh, watching Miss Kit is gonna, and the, the women's auxiliary, I believe they're going to be having something at the American Legion. I believe that's March 16th. Miss Kit, if you don't mind putting it, put the date in the chat. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have the women's auxiliary is going to if I if I'm exact, the women's auxiliary will have uh, an event at the American Legion yeah. post. Uh, that's going to be Saturday, March 16th, if I'm correct, what Miss Kit told me. So come out and support them. Uh, come out and support the women of the uh, post American Legion post 287 on March 16th. They're going to be having an event up there at right. the American. And Legion I've been post actively involved in the American Legion for Wow, thirty years now. Um, yeah, yeah, y'all DJ, you and other my cousin, our cousin Wayne DJ do, donated a lot of my yeah. time, and I still do when they need me. Um, yeah. at the American Legion up there, so big, big shout out to the staff up there and the past staff. Uh, you know, um, I'm always gonna be connected to the American Legion Hall post two eighty seven. So. Yeah. And I, all the past people that were up there, like Mr. W.S. Fullins, who was one of the one Mr. of the Rogers best commanders. Andrews, Mr. Mr. Roger Hardy, Andrews, Mr. Hardy, Hardy Hill. Hill. Uh, bro, it was so many great people up Ms. there. An back Angel, in the Angie Store. Angie Store. Angie Store. Oh, so many people up there. Antoinette, uh, Miss Ovita, everyone that was up there back right, in the days Antoinette. up there going to pass. Baby on Ray, now. DJ Baby, Baby Ray. Ray. Uh, uh, so Mr. many great Mr. memories G? up there. Greg, Gregory Rose, Greg Mr. Rose, G. Mr. G. So, back uh, in the days. Hey, uh, man, uh, some of the DJs just been through there, man. You know, hey, big shout out. Uh, we've been the DJs up there for the past 30 years. Myself, my our cousin Wayne Yorker, Marcus Bradley, uh, the maestro, DJ Scoop. Hey, man, big shout out to all the DJs, you know, up there at American Legion, Post 287. That's all we have, man. We just out here just to chop it up a little bit. You know, we're just talking. Um, we'll be back again next week. Um, we should have um we go ahead, we're gonna get the guy from the 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 little he was selling the little sex candles up at uh Black Love. Yeah, we're gonna try to get him and try to get the uh people that are running for I keep uh, forgetting to bring the candle over yeah. here too, but man, that candle smells so good. So yeah. If you got your girl, well, Valentine's Day girl, gone. If you got your girl and all of this and that, and you got your wife or whatever, your significant other, you get that little candle and you light it, man, and it smells so good. I, I actually bought one. I haven't, no, I haven't had a chance to burn it yet, but I bought one. But, um, yeah, um, we're going to get him on here uh, soon. We have Mr. Uh, we have a few people coming yeah. up next week, so yeah. I don't yeah. want to call it yeah, exactly. until they confirm. Until they confirm, and uh, we'll get them on next. We're week, gonna have so. a lot of politicians on here. Right. Uh, try to get as much information out to wherever. Not just here. It's not just. I try to tell everyone we're not. We're not act. I don't consider myself an activist. I consider myself a journalist, and I have the journalist credentials. I have the actual media credentials, so I'm a journalist. I'm no activist. As I tell people, I don't get involved in organizations, all that Democratic club. That's good stuff, but I, I'll shout you out. I'll make your announcements, but uh, those clubs, I, I as, a, as a journalist, I, my ethics are to state, try to state, you know, try to, uh, try to you know, unbiased, but uh, we're here for the community. Uh, but we 
going to bring some, we're going to have some great guests for you here in 2024. Just stay tuned to the Adams Brothers stay tuned, podcast. Stay tuned, stay tuned. That's all we have, ladies and gentlemen. We've been here chopping it up. You know, we're not going to take too much more of your time. So we're here. Let me put my glasses on so I can see that I can't have see nothing now without the eye. Ah, look at it. It's so clear right now. <laughs> So anyways, uh, we want to thank you all for tuning in to the Adams Brothers podcast, man. We'll see you next week. Thank you for your 5, your 10, your 20, your 50, your 100, your 300, your $500 donations to our podcast. Thank you so very much. We want to thank Robin Lilly. We'd like to thank uh, Pastor uh, Reverend Dimitri Ford, Pastor Clarence Honor, uh, Pastor uh, Dimitri uh, 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 Theodos Times. Uh, Pastor Anthony T. Pelt, Bishop, Bishop Anthony T. Pelt, Dennis Senior, Pastor Fullmore, Pastor, Pastor Dennis, Dennis Fullmore, Fullmore, and First, Lady Fullmore. First Lady Fullmore, First Lady Fullmore, Pastor Ron, uh, Pastor Ron. and all oh, man, thank, thank you, man, thank you, guys. Pastor knows everyone. Pastor that Nathaniel us. knows, Doctor knows, Doctor knows. Thank yes. you all, man. We appreciate you all, man. All that you do here in Deerfield Beach in this community. Thank you all. Um. Stay that's, woke, everyone. That's all we have. Stay woke. Get out to Stay the polls woke. and vote. Your vote does count. Okay, Register it does vote. count. Register. Take somebody to the polls with you. Um, there's no excuse vote by mail. not to vote. We had people die for this very same right to vote. And if you think that your vote doesn't count, you need to have your head examined. So uh, thank you all for watching the Adams Brothers podcast. We're going to be the next club, Shay Shay, in the Breakfast Club. I promise you that we're gonna okay. definitely have those quality guests take coming another si- sip of this moscato right here y'all have a good evening be blessed and, and thank stay you safe all for watching the adams brothers podcast see ya